Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best wide receiver prospect in the 2012 NFL Draft, Justin Blackman. Mr. Blackman, how's the NFL Draft process been for you? Man, it's been a lot of fun, a uh, very exciting process to go through, and I, I've just been enjoying it, you know, uh, trying to take it all in as it comes and just very excited for tomorrow night. Now, you play in an offense that I love in terms of design. Do you have reads coming off it? Do you have to read the safety and everything? Or? Yeah, I mean, it's all in reads. Uh, mm -hmm. Everything that we do is off of what the defense does. We have to adjust to them, and uh, that's how we, we play. So I think that's a great way, or that was a big big way that we were successful. How long does it take to adjust to that? Because I think some of the media doesn't, as I know the impression, it's kind of a simple thing, but that's kind of a hard thing to do, isn't it? You know? Right, it is. Uh, it was lots of hours, you know, route running, you know, routes on air, routes, uh, you know, against the defense, seven on seven. Uh, we put in lots of hours of doing that. And how do you feel right now about a team? Would you prefer to go to a team that basically runs the offense like you played in college so that the learning curve is less? Or does it matter to you? Or are you just ready for anything? I'm ready for anything. Um, you know, I don't think the you know, terminology or any of that's going to be a difference. You know, whatever team you ask me, uh, it's going to be different from what I was at already. So as all in general, I'm going to have to adjust. Do you have a question? Yeah, Justin, hi, Julie Beeler. I work for Mr. Irrelevant Foundation, the guy that was drafted dead last. You're projected as a first round draft pick, top 10. What's your message for Mr. Irrelevant? Well, you know, anything can happen. There's plenty of people that have, uh, that have been taken in the first round, you know, top 10 picks that, you know, haven't did anything. So, and there's people vice versa that's been drafted last, you know, worked their way up to the top. So I would just say, you know, fight for yours. We all have to show up on the same day and uh, have to earn our position on the team. So, uh, you know, don't look at it as a bad thing. Just be happy that you got you got picked. Your name got called. That's a big deal. Uh, is there a, a play from college that you think, gosh, that's the one play that I'm going to remember as my statement for my college career? <laughs> Staff. <laughs> I, would, I mean, I went to Cal too. I would say there was one play that you know just signified, but uh, you know the whole 2011 season was uh, lots of fun. I enjoyed being you know around the team. We had a good group of guys, and you know we just enjoyed every bit of it. Has it helped being out here with the kids? Kind of relaxes you a little bit. I mean, there's going to be a lot of tension tomorrow, a lot of pressure, and today you just got to watch a bunch of kids play around. Right. I mean, uh, you know, just being around all the guys in general. I mean, it's a good way to just kick back. We're all going through the process together, and uh, we all we all know that. So it's, it's kind of like we're a family, you know, going through it together. We got each other's back. We're creating relationships and just happy for each other. Right. And then come Sunday, though, that that's going to change. Right, it's all going to change, but I'm sure we're still going to have our connections. And, uh, you know, there's not many people that get to go through this process, so this is like once in a lifetime. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.